In more news tonight, after being declared eliminated back in 2000, measles cases in the U.S. are now seeing a rise once again. Mm. That's according to the CDC. And local health professionals are looking to educate parents before it's too late. Six News reporter Andrea Uribe has more on how medical professionals are trying to keep children safe. While April is National Immunization Month, this last week is dedicated to a more vulnerable demographic that has been seeing a rise in preventable diseases. Right now, we definitely are seeing some of the very scary diseases coming back around. Measles is in 18 states again, and obviously we saw polio come back around a little bit last year. And so there's definitely an extreme need for people to get vaccinated. The health district warns that local children are more vulnerable to contracting these deadly diseases compared to the rest of the state. We here in Brazos County have a 40% exemption rate, which means 40% of our kiddos are exempting out of getting vaccinated. And so at such a high rate compared to 13% statewide. Health professionals nationwide are seeing the impact of misinformation on parents who are refusing to vaccinate their children. As much as they are easily fed um, a lot of the misnomers, the lies of things, that we're, our job now is to try to equally and more try to combat that with the truth. Some parents believe that keeping their children at home will decrease their risk of contracting diseases, but the health district wants families to be aware of a possible reality. But the reality is, is they're gonna, they're gonna be around other kids that do go to daycare. They're gonna go to parks. They're gonna go to HEB and touch surfaces. And so in the end, they're, they're just as at risk as anybody else's. For Six News, I'm Andrea Uribe. Along with measles, unvaccinated children are also vulnerable to diseases like polio, hepatitis B, tetanus, the flu, and rotavirus. Meanwhile,